welcome back to the Vagabond Tribune. My name is Summer. If you're new here, welcome! Uh, today I thought I would do a, a bit of a this just in uh, a collection of products that I have ordered in the last couple of months. Uh, one of them actually, I think one of them, I got back during the holidays during a sale but I haven't opened it yet. I've been, it's one of those things, you don't have a product where um, you put it away and you're like saving it because it was either a lot of money or you're just not ready to put it into your routine for whatever reason. I have one of those. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Oh, by the way, I have determined myself not to use the word beautiful in this, uh, in this video. That was annoying to at least myself last time and uh, the smacking I think I think it's just a thing I think it's a thing that I do and I, I'm not I'm not cognizant of it until I hear myself do it and then I'm like Ugh. so if you hear if you see me like, cringe it's because I heard it I heard it too so let's start the first thing that I want to talk about is Malai Organics Advanced Repair Mask Neem Honey Herbal Complex this is the box that it comes in. Beautiful, simple packaging, black and white, very chic. It comes in a frosted glass package. And the consistency of this is kind of runny. You can see it moving. I will put some... When you touch it, it's a little tacky. I'll put some on the back of my hand. You can see that. It's um, kind of gel-like, but it's also very oily. Um, and there are some fine particles in here that do provide the exfoliation. I neglected to... I made notes. I have notes on every one of these things so that I could speak um, in informatively. Is that the word? Why not? Informatively. Why does that not sound like a word? Anyway, I have notes on everything, so I will be looking at those. Um, the first thing that I will say about this mask is it does have a strong scent. Like a very strong scent. It is the definition of herbal and I think what it it is looking at the ingredients is a combination perhaps of neem extract which I don't know what that smells like but it's one of the few things in here. Well not a few things. I hadn't heard of the majority of the ingredients in this thing. This has a, a laundry list of ingredients. It's very similar in scope to Josh Rose Brooks um, hydrating accelerator that everybody loves, you know, this NC on there. Lots of different stuff in it, but this has neem extract and also red thyme and lavender, but it's, it's a very strong scent and it doesn't, while you're wearing it, really uh, dissipate. You can pretty much smell it the whole time. Um, it's not bothersome, it's just very, it's herbal. <laughs> in the uh, strictest sense of herbal. Uh, another thing I would say is this is the most active product I think I've ever used in, in terms of um, sensation. When I started applying it to like the center of my face and by the time I had gotten like halfway through, I started to feel it and I thought, oh no, I'm fixing to have to wash this off and I was like and I stopped I was like let's see where this is gonna go and it didn't get any worse so I was like well let me at least get the rest of my face so I put it on the rest of my face and it was still tingling and I this is also the first product that I've experienced true tingling it, not a burning or a stinging just a tingling like you can feel this working. It's just a very active mask. Um, the Some of the claims is that it uh, softens, calms, and clarifies skin for a radiant complexion. 
Um, I'll hold these so I can kind of look up at the same time. I made it a really big font so that my blind soul can see it. Uh, reveals an even, healthy glow, results in noticeably smoother, more hydrated, and youthful skin. Some of the um, active or interesting ingredients are wild bean flower honey, like I said, which is antibacterial, uh, has detoxifying clays and a proprietary complex of nine herbal and reparative herbs. Also con contains blue tansy and black currant extract to restore balance, and it does have colloidal silver. Uh, as far as any potentially problematic ingredients, if you're sensitive skin, it does have some essential oils in it. It has lemongrass oil and lavender oil, and it does also have citral, citronellol, geraniol, and limonene and linalool. And I hear people, I hear YouTubers, you know, pointing out those ingredients in, in a negative aspect. I'm not entirely sure what the problem is there. I think from what I gather, it's, they can be sensitizing. So uh, if you know for a fact that you have a trouble, you have a trouble, oh, this is so hot. You have trouble <laughs> with those ingredients, it does have those. Uh, scent, like I said, and I wrote strong in the face. Do y'all remember what, what movie that's from? Strong in the face. It's strong in the face. But it, it doesn't bother me. I, I'm a hippie, crunchy kind of girl. I love a herbal smell. I'll take it, no problem. Uh, how to use, apply to clean, damp skin with a utensil. Stir before use. Apply evenly and leave on for 15 to 20 minutes. And I did leave it on for, I've used it twice. I, re I got this. Maybe two, two or three weeks ago. I think this will tell you something about this. Before I got this, two or three weeks ago, I had only masked maybe five times in the last year. I just, masks, I find them, I just find them a lot of trouble for, for what they've been worth to me. Like, having to wash your face before and then, you know, taking it off. I'm one of those people that can't stand to wash my face in the sink because the water dripping down my elbows is just one of those things for me. But I have used this twice since I got it about two weeks ago. It feels, it's doing something. Now I won't say that I necessarily noticed anything other than exfoliating my skin did feel smoother after using it because it does have the particles in there uh, that are exfoliating and because of the honey it's also kind of sm uh, soothing smoothing um, other than like wow glow or anything like that I didn't really notice a difference there but it does smooth the skin it does leave it feeling hydrated if you're someone like me that has rosacea and normally a physical exfoliant is just not a good idea for you, I love this. I love this mask. It is uh, $78 for 2.85 ounces. I have, I've used it twice, like I said. I'm pretty liberal. I'm liberal. I'm liberal in general. <laughs> but I'm liberal with everything I put on my face. I have used this twice, and I hope you can see how little I've used of it. So you, I'm not sure how many uses you would get, but I think a fair amount. So $78 for 2.85 uh, ounces, that's on their website. But um, several YouTubers have coupon codes. I think Andy the Green Queen has a Malaya code, so you might uh, go watch one of her videos on Malaya and see if she has a coupon code. That's 10 minutes where this is going to be a while. I hope y'all are comfortable. I'm comfortable. I'm a little hot, but who cares? <laughs> All right, there's an, I have another Malaya product next. This is one that I've heard. Again, Andy, you owe my husband an apology. <laughs> I buy, I think, more stuff from her than maybe anybody else because she does have very dry skin, and that is a predominant concern of mine. She does not have any aging issues god bless you enjoy that <laughs> but she does have dry skin so when she like raves about something being really good for her dry skin i'm usually like add to your basket 
And this is one of those things. This is the Malaya Hydrating Mist Refresh and Renew. I have not used this at all. Um, yeah, there's a few, like I said, there's a few of these that I haven't, I haven't used yet. I'm like squirreling them away. So this is what it looks like. It's a lovely sort of periwinkle. What's the difference between periwinkle and, and lilac? I, don't know. I think periwinkle blue. Snatch. Um, match this. So uh, the benefits of this helps replenish and invigorate skin, keeping it perfectly hydrated and glowing all day. Some of the active or interesting ingredients are a blend of collagen stimulating go to cola and reparative herbal extracts. Malaya is really big on herbs. I don't know how this smells, but I, I can give you an idea based on the fragrant ingredients in here that we'll get to in just one second. Um, it has superoxide dismutase, which delivers a potent boost of antioxidants. Rose and bamboo water offer an extra layer of protection and moisture. Your skin will feel refreshed, supple, and look youthfully luminous. If I didn't already say, all of the information that I have, that I'm um, giving you, I took directly from uh, the website. Uh, potentially problematic ingredients, same as the mask, there are some essential oils, and there is the citronella, citronella, farnesol, citral, linalool, oil, and eugenol, which are from essential oils. So as to scent, the Fragrant ingredients in here are in, in order of greatest to least. Uh, Rosa Damascena Hydrolot, Jasmine Hydrolot, Neroli Hydrolot, Rosemary Extract, Frankincense Oil, Ylang Ylang Oil, and Geranium Oil. Skin type says it's good for all. Shake well before use. Mist generously after cleansing and before moisturizing to lock in moisture and aid absorption. Uh, the cost of this, I will say, it's $58 for uh, two ounces. So that's, that's a considerable amount, I think, for a mist. I think we all have uh, a number in our head of what um, specific product types are worth. And it has beautiful ingredients. It absolutely has beautiful ingredients it may very well be worth that much money, like as far as the ingredients and how they were uh, procured and sustainability and all that sort of thing. That's, that's, that's a considerable amount for a, um, a hydrating mist, which is why it took me so long to buy it. And I, oh, I got it because Malaya was offering, I believe a 20% di discount if you signed up for uh, their newsletter. And so that's how I got both of those items. Okay. Yeah, that's it for that. Sorry. I have no space in between. Don't worry about that. Okay. Next up, this is Isoon's Emerald Sun Hydrosol Serum. So, Isoon. I discovered them a little over two years ago while we were still uh, in the San Diego area. I think because this and another one of their products had won a beauty shortlist award. And I looked into it and I was looking uh, for an online retailer to see about getting some samples and I found one, um, a lady who owns, I think it's a spa, in Colorado. I will link her below because she's absolutely lovely. I spent, I think we talked for about an hour on the phone going over my skin type, what my concerns were, what uh, specific icing products she thought would you know, be good for me. And she sent me a, a bunch of samples and one of them was this uh, Emerald Sun Hydrosol Serum and I loved it. It has a, I haven't used this one yet so I'm not gonna open it. Um, because I'm almost ready for her. This is the packaging. Nice glass bottle. Pump. Love these. This is very common, I'm noticing. The glass bottle with the pump and the safety cap. I always keep these. Um, just to protect... Any way I can prevent air from getting into my stuff, I will do. 
yeah, so she sent me a bunch of products. I fell in love with a lot of them. And then we were actually in the process, I believe, of moving here. And so I just kind of forgot, went through all the samples, um, and then just kind of forgot. It happens. You get just, I get, I have, like I said, ADHD. I get distracted very easily. So um, I got this from Beauty Habit. Beauty Habit was having a sale on Isoon products. Is that true? Or did I get this from my spa lady? I can't remember. Regardless. <laughs> this is, let me, let's talk about it. All right, our skin quenching heavy water light serum helps to soothe, hydrate, and energize skin for a dewy, fresh, and brighter look. Skin Awakening Peony Root and Algae Extracts with Protective Alpine Budaleha and Edelweiss Plant helps to minimize the appearance of skin dryness and aging effects and promote a renewed look of healthy skin. So some of the interesting active ingredients in here are beta-glucan, uh, Budaleha Davidi Extract, Edelweiss and Peony Root, uh, ingredients of possible concern, there is essential oil of neroli, but it's I'm not sure how far down if I can find it quickly, Tatum. I don't see it now. Where is it? It's in there. It's not in a very big amount though, so I, I shouldn't think you have a problem. Scent neroli neroli flower oils is I think the only fragrant ingredient in this. And it's it's the last. It is the last ingredient. Uh, skin types is good for all skin types. Apply to cleanse face and neck, including around eye area, two times per day. Per day. It's sixty-six dollars for one point seven ounces on their website. You can sometimes find it on sale at Beauty Habit and at this spa in Colorado. And I will link her below. I apologize to her that her name is sli slipping my mind, but. Um, yeah, I cannot wait to start using this. I have to wait. I'm making myself wait until I'm done with the Hanua Aloha Serum. I try not to have more than one or two types of um, category of product, like a hydrating serum. I try not to have more than one, maybe two open at a time. And right now I do have the Aloha Serum, and also have the Josh Rosebrook um, Hydration Boost Concentrate open. So as soon as I finish one, and it's going to be this one first because I've been using it the longest. And this is really nice. It is, it's nice. Um, again, it's one of those things, because I use so many other products, I can't really say for certain that, I'm, that it's doing anything. I'm sure it is, but... Um, one of the things that I did want to talk about is I recently decided that I'm going to try and get away from uh, the use of hyaluronic acid because it's one of those things that's just been rolling around in my brain. Like the, the fact that yes, it holds a thousand times its weight in water, but um, unless there's water in the air around you, it's going to pull water from your skin. And as someone who is severely dehydrated, uh, that's the last thing that I want. Um, I do live in a very humid area, but we've always got, I mean, except for recently, we've been having the loveliest spring I can ever remember. But generally, we have HVAC on, either on the heat or on uh, air conditioning. And because of that, I'm concerned that unless I were to spray, you know, hydrate my face pretty frequently throughout the day, I'm afraid that that hyaluronic acid is pulling water from my skin. So what I'm going to do is start looking for products with beta-glucan, and that is one of the star ingredients in this. Uh, so I'm really excited to, to get to start using this, and I'm days away. Okay, let's see. Next, I've got Osmosis Renew. Uh, here's the box. And it comes, I, like, 
pretty much all of their products in a really nice pump bottle. This is their, their strongest vitamin A serum. They have two under this. I can't remember the names of them, but um, yeah, this is the strongest one. So unless you have experience with uh, retinol serums, I wouldn't necessarily jump into this one straight away, even though I will say I've had no irritation from this. I've used it three times now. I used it last night, and I just got it about two weeks ago. Um, I've had no peeling, no sensitivity, nothing, and that's so rare. Even though I've been using retinol for about four or five years fairly consistently, I just never got past the point at which they were making me either peel several days later or sensitizing me. Uh, so it's astounding. I hope these earrings aren't like really annoying. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's causing no irritation. The results that I'm seeing from it so far, obviously I'm not going to see a lot of like wrinkle uh, diminishing aspects of it yet, but um, a couple of days ago I was in the shower rinsing my uh, cleanser off of my face and I kept rinsing and rinsing and rinsing and I'm like why isn't, this, why isn't this coming off and I eventually realized that it was just my skin. The texture of my skin has gotten so smooth and I'm, I have good reason to believe that it is because of this. So, so far, super happy, very excited to continue using this. I've been using it uh, about every three nights so far, and I will probably uh, switch to using it every other night fairly soon. I just wanted to make absolutely sure that I wasn't going to have some sort of delayed peeling or reaction before I started really using it more frequently. Uh, the benefits of osmosis and it's a it's a medical grade but it's they're clean insofar as they don't have any ingredients in it that i have a problem with and that i don't think that the majority of people in the green beauty community would take issue with so it's in that aspect i find it's pretty rare for a medical skincare brand to be so clean uh, it says uh, using the highest possible potency of our liposomal retinaldehyde, Renew offers sun-safe, barrier-protecting, DNA-preserving technology that is proven to stimulate collagen 1,000 times more than regular retinol. It is designed to increase nutrient delivery to the skin, enhanced by a pharmaceutical-grade delivery system that delivers nine holistic, scientifically validated collagen stimulators and seven potent antioxidants far beyond the surface layers to create real lasting changes. Some of the um, interesting active ingredients are niacinamide, chlorella vulgaris extract, which I believe is the proprietary extract that they patented. It also has two types of tetrapeptides, liposomal retinaldehyde, lactic acid, fulvic acid, beta-glucan, sodium hyaluronate, and cloudberry seed oil. Uh, some of the potentially uh, problematic ingredients, it does have denatured alcohol, but it is third, I forgot it had denatured alcohol. It's third from the end of the list. And for me, that's the only, to my memory, that's the, this is the only product I have with that in it, so I don't, it doesn't bother me so much. Uh, it also does have essential oils of lavender, sandalwood, patchouli, and honeysuckle. So if you're sensitive to essential oils, keep that in mind. For skin types, I couldn't find any guidance as to who it is and isn't for. But again, I would say if you haven't used any retinols before, I would start with one of, the, uh, one of their first two retinols. So to shake lightly, apply one to two pumps in the AM and PM. So this is one of the only retinols that I know of that um, suggests you use them during the day. I don't personally, I use my retinols at night because I use other actives uh, in the daytime. Uh, the cost, it's $96 for one ounce on Skin Beautiful RX. 
she often has a sale that's Leah. If, if y'all haven't discovered Skin Beautiful RX, it's a wonderful skincare um, website, seller. They don't make products, they sell products. <laughs> that's so weird to say. Uh, but Leah, she has a YouTube channel on here called Skin Beautiful RX. I'm sure many of you already know about it. She's lovely, super helpful, great website, and they often have a sale. So that is that. Next up, I'm going to try to start going faster. I'm going to try. All right. Next up is one that I have been saving since the holidays. Moss Skin Care. Celestina is the formulator and owner of Moss, and she's one of those people that I liken very much to Beethoven, Mozart, as far as there seems to be a certain type of genius. Ava from Earthwise Beauty undoubtedly has the same, same thing. I can't even begin to imagine how one goes, you know, I want to, I want to create a serum to do so-and-so, and, -so, and then it, it's mind-boggling to me, and I'm utterly fascinated by formulations. And Moss Skin Care is one of those truly um, impressive skincare companies. So the product I'm talking about is Soiree, and it's one of her, I believe her newer products. The way she does her, she has a, uh, a line called L4B, I'll correct that somewhere, if that's not the right one, where she um, does trials, for lack of a better word, of, of products, and she goes through different iterations, I think based on customer feedback, and her personal, you know, what she's looking for in particular, and if something does really well, if it resonates with... Uh, her, her clients, then it moves up into a permanent product under the Moss skincare brand. If I'm wrong, I'll correct myself. Uh, but Moss, here's the bottle. Let me make sure it's the right way. Glass bottle, pump. From the website, it says, the strongest anti-aging product we've ever crafted or experienced. Targets Textural issues such as wrinkles and scars helps rejuvenate the action of dermal proteins such as collagen and elastin. A lightweight serum that is 31% peptides by weight designed to support dermal integrity, address wrinkles and diminish acne scars. Okay. Okay, I'll try it. Here's the kicker. This is $215 for one ounces. Now you probably understand why I've been uh, just kind of hoarding it in this drawer over here because I'm waiting for the perfect time to integrate it into my skincare routine because the instructions say to apply it first before any other serums, including exfoliating ones. And I just want to make sure that I get my husband's penny worth out of this and I'm able to use it so that it is the star of the show. Since I am using the Osmosis Renew Retinol, I just haven't found the perfect place to put it. And I do have OCPD as well as ADHD, so I don't know. I'm just sitting here holding on to her for the time being. I'll find a perfect place soon. Uh, active, interesting ingredients. There are seven peptide complexes in total in this product. Some peptides are pre and post synaptic technology to provide a temporary relaxing of the muscles causing expression wrinkles. It says the closest you can get to Botox in a bottle. I mean, the scent, as I haven't opened it, I don't know, but the fragrance uh, ingredients in here are vanilla, ylang ylang, and lemon myrtle. How to use clean skin at least once per day, first before anything else. Um, I would suggest that you, well, I don't know, depending on how much 
you just feel like spending a lot of money. If you want to spend a lot of money, go look at the before and after picture, pictures on, on the Moss website that I'll link below. When I do finally decide to open this and start using it, I will absolutely take a before app before picture and I will take at least an after when it's um, over and I will make a video entirely dedicated to this product because of the amazing claims and because that's a lot of money. If you're telling me it's going to do all that, honey, better work. Okay, next we have Garden of Wisdom Neurofrolene. Excuse the state of the bottle. Um, I believe I must have gotten this after the uh, this problem started because I think I cleaned it with rubbing alcohol and that's why it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Moving on. The benefits combats the major causes of aging, resulting in a more youthful complexion, improves skin hydration, and combats dry skin, prohibits the skin's production of excess sebum, helping to improve oily skin and acne prone skin, effective in the treatment of rosacea, blocks production of cortisol in the skin. The star ingredient obviously is neurofrolene, and that is in 2% in the serum. It's an extract derived from wild indigo. This patented extract helps break down cortisol production by skin cells, activates the release of a natural calming neuropeptide, and invisibly improves skin tone. It has apple polyphenols, which provide antioxidant properties to protect skin against oxidative damage, UV radiation inflammation. It also contains all trans resveratrol, liposomes, and high and low molecular white hyaluronic acid. That was a tongue twister. It has no possibly prob problematic ingredients. It's a, I think most Garden of Wisdom products have a fairly small uh, NC list. Skin types all apply one to two pumps up to the eye area and neck after cleansing and the AM and PM can also be added to your favorite moisturizer for daily use. And that's how I like to use it. I like to put a pump of it in my moisturizer during the day and sometimes at night or I'll put it in with my uh, hydration cocktail because it is a a water-based serum and it's for hydration um, again it's one of those things I I can't I can't tell you if it's doing anything <laughs> I don't know what to do about it because I mean, I use so many products. I love skincare. I just love it. I love to experience new things. Love making a little cocktail. I feel like an, an alchemist and whatnot. Um, I don't know. I haven't been using it that long either, but I am using it in tandem with several other things. So I can't tell you personally if I've seen any difference. And finally, we're at our final product. This is Think Baby SPF 50. This is a mineral sunscreen, sunscreen that is water resistant for up to 80 minutes. It's the first sunscreen to pass Whole Foods premium care requirements. It is the top rated sunscreen on EWG with a rating of one. It is free of biologically harmful chemicals and it is Leaping Bunny certified. Speaking of Leaping Bunny Certified, my top priority, number one priority, is that everything I'm using, whether it be on my face, my hair, my body, in the house, is that it is cruelty free. That's foremost above anything else. So there are products that I have bought that aren't in the green beauty realm. I don't have very many, very many at all, but occasionally something will promise me the world and I'll believe them. But as long as it's cruelty free, that's, that's my business. That's my business. Active ingredients. It is 20% zinc oxide. 
Uh, it has pine wood resin. Never seen that before. Apparently, it's used by Native Americans um, as a type of a salve. Uh, let's see. Sunflower oil, jojoba oil, ascorbic acid, vitamin E, olive oil, raspberry seed oil, and hyaluronic acid. So it is, it's a very moisturizing sunscreen for someone like me with very dry skin, but it's not terribly oily. I, I have at least one sunscreen that I just, I don't, I don't, I don't use it because it's so oily. It's just a nightmare, especially in summertime when it's near 100 degrees down here. It's just a nightmare. This is very moisturizing, but it's not overly moisturizing. I think if you have oily skin, this might not be the one for you, um, but maybe you can get a sample. I'm not sure anyone does a sample. Oh, I can show you the texture of it. I have used this one. Oh, I've got mask on that one. So it's a thick, it's a thick lotion. Um, depending, if you use the required amount to get to SPF 50, which I believe is a quarter teaspoon, it could be a half a teaspoon. If you use the recommended amount, you're gonna get white cast. It's, it just is what it is with this one. Um, if you really, really, really rub it in, you can kind of get down to semi-invisible, but on my face, for whatever reason, when I use the required amount, it's just, it's white. I don't know what else to tell you. Um, I don't care. I'm usually, Especially now, I haven't left this property in at least a month. I haven't driven a car in at least a month. So I don't care. I mean, would I wear this to Trader Joe's? Probably not. Not because I care what people think about me. I just don't like being stared at. Um, so yeah, keep in mind, does have a lot of white cast. Um, at least on the face. I can usually rub it in on my neck and chest to where you can't see it, but on the face. All white. Uh, let's see. Cost is $12.99 for three ounces. That's on their website, but you can find it. I think I got mine on Vitacost, and Vitacost often has a sale. I really like it. Um, like I say, it's not oily, it's not drying, it's SPF 50, which is my preference. 30, I would only use if I was going to town um, and not being outside a lot. 50 is kind of my um, my preference. F I think I said finally on the last one, but I do have one other, it's not one other thing, it's um, actually a collection of samples. So I recently heard from Aloha Jen about a new uh, green beauty store called the Beauty Garden Boutique. And actually just earlier this morning, I saw that Danielle has a, a video that's in collaboration with uh, the Beauty Garden B Boutique and they're offering a, uh, a discount this weekend. So I'll link her video below. Um, they carry, I can't believe who all they carry. They have Natural Logic, Heart of Gold, Earthwise Beauty, um, Lavina, they carry brands that I love that I've never seen anywhere except their own private websites. They have free shipping. The, the shipping got here super fast. Um, I'm not exactly sure how quickly because we, our mail and packages and even groceries, we quarantine it out in the garage and then bring it in after the you know requisite number of days or whatever. But um, one of the things I was first impressed by is the packaging that it came in. This is 100% um, recycled padded mailer and it's recyclable. Love that. Love that. I might actually reuse this. It's not one of those that you open and the stuff comes everywhere. So love the packaging, first and foremost. Come with a sweet 
handwritten note. And these are the samples that I got. And I'll just show you. They're a little baggy. And each one is individually wrapped in a paper bag. And there's a little sticker saying what each of them are. So I got Heart of Gold Resonant Frequency Serum, Ashlyn Quinn Wailele Essence, Heart of Gold Magic Mushroom Serum, Nomari Stab, and I got something else that I put in my bathroom. I can't remember what it was. What was it? I can't remember. Anyway, you get. I believe you get five. Five samples for $14.99. I'm losing my mind. That's okay. Um, yeah, so I'm super looking forward to trying all these. As I just said, Danielle, in collaboration with them, is offering a 15% uh, off code for this weekend. And so I actually bought... I haven't even used this yet. The Heart of Gold Resonant Frequency Serum because it very much like the Soiree and Swing Among Trees, you know, claims to be a panacea of aging. And I was like, give me, give me that, please. Yes, thank you. So I, I bought that and I got several other things that I will do a little haul on uh, when it comes in. But that's it. Congratulations if you made it. I hope everyone is well and staying safe, and um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you. That's a horrible way. Let's cut that out. Let's try it. Try it again. Let's try to take it from the top. So that's it. Thank you.